okay then next topic is uniform and non uniform motion so uniform motion when an object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time so if you look into this picture a boy is completing the starting and ending point with the same distance and same timing means for every 5 meters he is taking 1 second okay so let us discuss about the examples for uniform motion in daily life in our daily life so first one is movement of hands of a watch so there is no change in the movement of hands of a watch then rotation and revolution of the earth is there any change in the next year the rotation and revolution of the earth no so there is no change in the rotation and revolution of the earth then next one movement of the blades of a ceiling of fan always the blades of a ceiling fan is rotating in a circular motion only is it yes next one is a vibrating spring in a sewing machine so in a sewing machine the spring is vibrating in an oscillatory motion it doesn't change if it changes the cloth has not stitched so these are the examples for uniform motion next one is non uniform motion when an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time so there is a change in the distance okay students see the same boy is traveling from starting position to ending position with different distances but timing is same so for first second it, he he is covering the speed 5 meters and for next 1 second he is covering the distance 7 meters and for another second he is covering the distance 6 meters so there is a change in the distance not in the time so this is called non uniform motion so examples for non uniform motion in our daily life are the motion of a car or bus in a city traffic if you observe the traffic there is so much of traffic is there nowadays so here we can't go in this traffic in a uniform motion so we have to uh, speed the we have to increase the speed or decrease the speed then next one walking in a crowded street then talking sorry taking a dog for a walk taking a dog for a walk so the dog has not has not go in a uniform motion okay a bus on a hilly track if you go to tirupati there is no a non if you go to tirupati there is no a non uniform motion because you have to you have to go on to the hill track next a bouncing ball a horse running these are the examples for non uniform motion okay students next the topic is we have to discuss one activity some okay so the activity is observing the motion of a ball on an inclined plane so here i have taken one ball and i am releasing that ball in an inclined plane if you look into this picture you can notice that from for time t 0 seconds the ball is started 
and for time t sec one second the ball has taken some distance and for two seconds the ball has taken different distance means the distance here changing but the direction is not changed but the direction is not changed if you look into the another picture here i am throwing a ball in the upward direction here also the same distances are mentioned but the direction is not changed so in the above two figures if you observe that what happens speed changes so here from 0 seconds to 2 seconds speed gradually decreases because earth gravitational force has attracting the ball but the direction of motion is not changed means remains constant so from the figures what we have observed that speed changes but the direction of motion is not changed they remains constant in both figures okay students now let us discuss one more activity that is uniform circular motion in a, here you have noticed that one boy is drilling a stone to the end of a string and he is rotating the stone in a circular motion by using the string if you look into this picture you can see that uh, the stone is moving in a circular motion okay in the next picture you can see that the directions means the velocities are changes for every instant of time so now i am asking questions to you by observing the picture okay friends okay so what is the path of the stone the path of the stone is circle in motion so here if you look into this picture see here the path of the stone is circle means it is rotating in a circular motion okay then is the velocity changes at every instant of time see here in the picture if you look into the second picture here the directions the vela means the velocities are changing in at every instant of time so answer so answer is is the velocity changes at every instant of time s yes. there is a change in velocity then what about speed speed is constant because speed does not change uh, the boy is rolling a stone continuously with the same speed but here the direction is changing so from the above discussion it is clear that speed remains constant but, but its velocity changes means direction changes so the rotation of the motion is changes with the directions but not speed okay children okay and the next last activity is observing the motion of an object thrown into air now i have taken one ball and i had thrown that ball into a basket now if you look into this picture you can notice that the difference of speed means here speed gradually increases sorry speed gradually decreases to reach the basket as well as the direction also changes see here in the activity okay so in the above activity you might have noticed that speed and direction means the ball, the speed of the ball as well as direction also changes simultaneously according to their positions okay children now so 
conclusion so from the above three activities what we have observed that in the first activity we have noticed that speed changes with the direction remaining constant speed changes but direction does not change in the second activity direction of motion changing okay but speed remains constant in the last activity th means third activity both direction and speed changes simultaneously okay students so from overall the three activities what we have understand that motion of an object is said to be non uniform when its velocity is changing so motion of an object means motion on object is said to be non uniform when it is non uniform when its velocity changing continuously okay students so this is the class for this session now make a note of the worksheet to complete your homework i hope you understand this class okay now complete your worksheet by sitting in your homes okay students thank you